Right, well, you remember we put up this uh, massive uh, dipole uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's an 80 160 fan dipole. Now, 160 is currently resonant on, I think, 1.4, uh, 1.94-ish. Uh, I don't actually need it resonant there. I need it best at 1.85 where I've got the amplifier because there's a small segment in the 160 meter band where we can run an amplifier. Okay, small. 1.843 to 1.85. Further up in the UK, we're only allowed 32 watts. So I might as well tune this so the amplifier's happy at 1.85. And then anywhere else, I'll hit the ATU button and it'll be fine. So that's what we're going to do today. I went on my little calculator and it said, I can't remember now, about 1.7 metres or something. We've currently got a fold back on these. And my brain's in a mush because I was going to do something else today. And I'm not. We've certainly got about two metres of fold back here. So I think what we'll do is we'll unwind about 1.5 meters of fold back and then uh, so it should be a really easy job so the only thing i need is a reel of tape and my stanley tape measure so remember if you want any dipole to resonate lower you need it longer lower and longer because even up to a few years ago i used to get all confused so they were, am i trying to shorten this or that? Or lengthen it. And if you ever done, you've been out in the field, go, oh, that'll do it. And you go back in, you've done it the wrong way. Longer, lower. All right? Now, this line, uh, we'll call it, I think it's the east line. <laughs> right? It goes through the trees here. I need to loosen it so we can get to it. And, ah, oh, here is my knot. Oh, nice and simple. I like it when it's nice and simple. Oh, it's all starting to slip already. There we go. That'll be fine. Oh, we're not going to lose that. It's plenty. We live streamed the other night, and you could see on the amplifier that uh, yeah, quite a high SWR down here. I couldn't go full power, my full legal, because it would have tripped the amp. But the ATU button would have been fine, you know. M0XX tm 0 ebj Cheers and beers, buddy. Yeah, all the best. Thanks a lot, Steve. Anybody else for a call? Hello, Mike Casero. X-Ray, X-Ray, Tango. So we'll use the ATU button further up. This is this uh, DX50 Kevlar wire. It's <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Cry once and all that stuff. I was considering using, you know, nice heat shrink, but I will eventually, once I'm, I've done what I need to do, we'll, we'll sort of heat shrink it and everything. Because a low to the ground dipole, if it's too low, you'll go, hey, what's going on? I've got a high SWR. Ooh, I've just found a dog ball. Been looking for that. And what actually is happening if it's low to the ground is you'll have uh, what they call a probably ooh, low to the ground, probably got low impedance, somewhere around 25 to 30 ohms. Now, the tri uh, there is a trick to go from 28 to 50 ohms, and that trick is a pair of 75 ohm quarter wave matching sections effectively and that'll take that actually takes 28 ohms exactly to 50 now it won't do it for us because we're somewhere i haven't actually measured it to be honest because i can't get the meter up that high and ideally on this wavelength what i'd need to do is have a half wavelength less velocity factor and put the meter at the end of it well, i'm running out of coax here so we can't do that all right so well, that'll be strong enough for the time being Pocket this lot. Oops, put a little field day tail there so I can get back to it. Close that up. And let's drag this thing back up again. I mean, Envis dipoles, they are just the easiest, aren't they? I can't see what I'm doing. 
Oh, well, we might be able to though. I think I can hold this and I should be able to keep holding this. Oh, I can. I've picked up a leaf or something, have I? I mean, if it's just a leaf, it'll blow off, obviously. There's something there. Oh, okay. Just a bit of crud. Yeah, there, okay. And then we've got a lot of spare, far too much spare really, but we'll keep it, otherwise it'll just end up being scrap, you know. You never know, it might be to convert this to something else one day. All right, let's do the other side and we can test this. So this one's a bit lower and I'll just put it around the end of the fence here. So to be honest, today's job was going to be putting all the ferrites in for the four square. Oh, a ton of work for the finished off the four square, all the choking and everything and the tuning. It's quite late in the day now. I got completely sidetracked. I mean, not my fault. I opened my email, you know, and before you know it, you know, Wendy's talking to me and can I have this invoice and have you done that and have you ordered this and I had a couple of guys who just can't sort their antenna out. I mean, it's not their fault. I, mean, I do appreciate that I've been doing this a long time and I know what to do. But it's all about well, what I said earlier on. Longer. Oops. You want it longer, make it lower. Uh, sorry, you want it lower, make the thing longer. You want it shorter, make it less long. Right, 20 centimetres, sorry, 50 centimetres, which is 20 inches. And we'll just tie it. I mean, what I was thinking of doing is going all the way into that tree, there's a tree in there. Uh, can I be, I mean, that'd be quite good actually in there. I mean, is it worth it? Honestly. I mean, it could be. I've got to get in there. What do you think? Shall we? Yeah, sod it. Let's have a laugh. It just gets it out of the way, really, doesn't it? So, actually, I haven't checked on the delta loop for a while. The 40 metre delta loop. Let's give it a quick eyeball, shall we? Here it is. Good. I'm just making sure that we didn't have any branches sitting on it because the trouble is with Kevlar cord wire, it's very strong. Have half a tree sitting on the damn thing, you know. Right, just got to try and work out where I left that line. Oh, hell. What we do for the hobby. Oh, there it is. I'm in the woods. Oh, I've got to find a way of getting through this lot to over there. So let's come up here over the top of that. The trouble is it's the same with bloody paracord you know. Take a paracord into a bloody forest and you can never get it out you know what I mean. Ah uh, whatever right you know sometimes you just gotta go see how we get on. Right. Bloody hell. Now oh, it's a great place for a little den here. If I could you know, get a little foundations down where I'm standing now and we can look out at stuff. Anyway, uh, 160 metre is over there somewhere. Just need to get out of this place without hurting ourselves. It won't be a tool shed forever. We will sort it all out, take everything back in. But right now I'm in and out for all my tools, so I'm just leaving them out here. Uh, all right, shut up shop. And um, we need a proper, proper catches and stuff instead of using my little. Well, it does work actually. And in fact, all I do when I finish for the day is I'm at the moment. I just put that table there. 
And to be honest, hang on. Yeah. That works right through the major storm we've just had. Something's not quite right. Not really. I've got to say, England is rather pleasant when you've got the fluffy clouds and the blue sky. Oh, I've just remembered it was really wet underfoot earlier on and I want to put the mower back out again. So I'm just checking for wetness. Oh, that's good. Ah, oh, I know what we do. If we send the mower out again, we better just double check all these cables. Because I've got two mower patterns, one going that way and one following all these cables and I didn't want it picking one up, you know? Um, well, we've got a dog ball there, so that needs to go out the way. There's that dog ball as well. Oh, I think we'll be all right. A couple of coat tins here from yesterday. I'll just send it out. If it gets tangled, it gets tangled, doesn't it? Oh, that's quite interesting. Because the frequency is lower again, I guess the impedance will lower because there's a percentage of frequency to height above the ground. So the best tune I'm getting now is mm, about two to one. The amp will handle that fine. Um, it wasn't like three and a half to one. And further up the band, we'll just have a listen. There'll be nobody there, it's daytime. I'll just make sure, that, let's say 19.54, I can um, I can get a tune. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was about to struggle, but it didn't. All right, well, overall, the result, definitely need those parallel quarter wave 75 ohm lines. It's just another day, which I don't quite have a spare right now. Um, we've got tomorrow, I'll do the rest of the four square tuning. And as I said, I ran out of time today. So I thought, what can I do? Look, it's something, you know, I can do. Anyway, we've done that. All right, so enjoy your radio, guys. See you on the next one. All the best.